video demonstration it's a bit noisy in here I got somebody out in the back destroying the church they're doing a little construction so it's a bit loud and I got both my PCs on and yeah I got to run it at max because I don't want to hear it alright so basically I got this interesting video well not video but um comment on one of my uh, my uh, PCs that I put up that I designed that basically some console player was telling me that I wasted tons of money on a PC hmm. I like that part you know I like it because I used to be a console gamer I mean way back in the day old school vector graphics and pong I mean I'm 45 years old I've been around I've CDI, 3DO, TurboGrafx-16, Neo Geo you name it I've been to all of these launches I own these systems okay I played them you know what I mean? So you can't sit there and tell me, oh, you know nothing about console, because trust me, I know about console before you were born. So I'm not trying to come out there and say that, hey, all console gaming sucks. It, in a way, it doesn't, because it's fun. Like I said, it's easy. If you can't build a customized PC, you don't know much about PC, it's convenient. It's convenient to have. But if you do have these skills, possess these skills, or you know anything about it, and you want to learn about it, invest the time and the money and do it because you will save tons of money. And the first thing this guy, I don't know if it's a guy or woman, I don't know what it is, but has a My Little Pony, I guess, for their, their icon. I don't know what they are. But anyway, could be a brony. I don't know. I'm not saying anything against the bronies, just saying it could be. Well, anyway, um, they uh, they basically just ran about, oh, you PCs, you're the leaders, you pay so much money for blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I do admit, this PC right here cost me about, I say cost about $5,000 to build it, all right? But the reason why I put so much money into it was the simple fact that I did not want to freaking go into the case and have to upgrade it. I've been one of those things where I have to max out all my PCs because I do not like going back in and basically uh, changing this and changing out. So I basically max it to be future proof, which I mean this machine is future proof for about 10 years. I mean it's running like an i7, has a 6 gig graphic card, it has about maybe about uh, 12 terabytes of solid state drive, um, it has uh, 32 uh, gigs of RAM, I mean this thing is maxed out, it, it, it is beautiful. But anyway, you know, they're saying well you know you guys spend so much money on PC gaming, it's so expensive, blah 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 blah. This is my work PC over here. Ice Boy, I think I paid about 600 bucks for this. You see that video card back there, that dusty one? That's a 4 gig video card. Guess how much I paid for it? $89. I went to New Egg. A lot of my parts, I got the motherboard and I got the RAM, the CPU on a combo deal. I, all together, it cost me about, I think, $230 uh, for it. The, uh, the um, touch screen uh, um, fan controller, 25 bucks. That was it. CD-ROM, $15. That's basically about it. That's all I paid for. Not a lot. It all for under like under 600 bucks. And this thing could run any game I throw at it. As a matter of fact, it will put the next-gen system to shame. I can run Crisis on this thing at uh, um, um, maxed out and not have a problem with any lag or system slowing down. It has a 700-watt power supply underneath its casing. So, when they sit there and say, oh, you know, you spent all this money, blah, 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 blah. No, not true. Really, when you pay for console, you spend a lot of freaking money. Now, here's some homework out there for you console gamers out there that are constantly coming at us PC gamers and saying that we spend so much money. I want you to do a little homework. Get a, get a notepad and a pencil and you add up all the games that you have bought in your library. You add up your console system, accessories, memberships, add all that up. And now, what you do is you figure out exactly how much all that actually costs you. It doesn't seem like a lot when you're doing it down through time. When you add it up and it's sitting there and the, the figures are in your face, you can see exactly how much you paid for it. Now, you consider the fact that every time a new console system comes out, everything you just paid for becomes obsolete, especially if the system is not backwards compatibility. PC does not have that problem. With PC, yeah, I might have to cough up maybe two, three thousand dollars or maybe six hundred bucks, whatever it may be. But the beautiful thing about it is, this system right here that I paid 600 bucks for, which is my work PC, basically can run any application that a next-gen system can run and better. Get what I'm saying at? I didn't have to buy a next-gen system. I already had it right here. Same thing with this. This thing is future-proof for about 10 years or more. All right? So you see what I'm getting at? So instead of you coughing up three, four thousand dollars worth of hardware, parts, and nothing parts, and so okay, pretty much parts because your systems do break down. You got to send them in. You got to get them fixed. Not me. All I got to do is just open up the side of my PC, 
order car, throw in there, done, that's it, bam, on the repair van, I love that part. But you consider the fact that the money that you spend for games, accessories, memberships, all that crap that comes with these consoles, and then three or four years, five years, whatever it may be, they're not worth anything, you got to turn around and do it all over again, add that up, see how much money it costs you, see exactly how much money it costs you. All right, and by the way, um, you, when you people say, well, you're stuck to it, a, 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 t a monitor, you know what I mean? Well, let me turn around here for a minute. This is my screen. This is what I game on. That's the size of my screen. I'm doing a 150 inch, uh, 16 by 10 wide screen. And let me go over to my other new baby I'm designing. This is my Batman PC. Dun, 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 dun. And yes, it will have a real working Batman spotlight that will hit on top of the ceiling and show the signal. Oh, this PC is going to be so freaking sick. And guess how much it's going to cost me to build it? Five hundred dollars. Five freaking hundred dollars. All right. Well, not to basically rub this in anyone's face or anything. Just to let you know that yes, you can build uh, this right here. This PC when I get done. Sorry about that. I mean, a ride over, ride over that. But this PC right here. When I get done building it, probably about five, six hundred dollars to do it. That's what it's going to cost me, and I guarantee you that'll blow out any freaking next-gen console. And the beautiful thing about it is, I won't have to buy another one for years. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you. Oh, oh wait, wait, I forgot to add. If I did, the Steam sales. Oh my God, I don't even know to begin with. Console gamer, I want you to do this. Do your homework. Add up your systems. See how much they cost you. Then when you get done. Log on to Steam and see exactly how much PC pays. Alright? That's your homework for today. Alright, school's out.